Being a Bassmaster Elite Series Pro is not all sunshine and rain. Every tournament brings a new set of challenges. Your next paycheck is never guaranteed. Day in and day out, the world's most talented and intimidating anglers stand in your way. You have to find a way to be great every single day. Providing for your family means survival in this sport. Finding your way into the cut on every lake in America. This is Life on the Cut Line. We are back on Santee this week. The last time that I was right here, I won a hundred grand in my first blue trophy. I won sight fishing. It was wire to wire. It was everything you could want. Um, caught 30, almost 32 pounds the first day. Um, so it was, it was really good. We got a lot of good memories here. If you're wondering why we're putting the boat in the water at nine o'clock in the morning, um, because life happens. Um, my dad, when championship Sunday morning at Murray, had a stroke and uh, is in the hospital in Lexington. There's not a whole lot that we can do right now. They're still running some tests. Um, he's doing good, but um, kind of just in limbo on when he'll be able to move, go home and all that stuff. So that's why we're late. That's one thing that sucks about this job. Um, the tournaments go on there. You can't call in sick um, like you could a regular job, take the week off. You know, we, we only get nine weeks out of the year to, to make our living. So you gotta, you gotta do it. Um, but I mean, if I need to, I'll leave um, and go to the hospital. Families first, for sure. But um, for right now, we're gonna practice a little bit and see what we can figure out. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of fish up shallow. I don't know there's gonna be as many spawning this week, uh, but I think it's still Santee Cooper is probably still gonna take 100 pounds to win, and that's what we're shooting for, 100 pounds. Right there. On a bed?
Oh, it is a female. Dang, I was hoping it was gonna be a, like a five pound male. There it is, a little female. Yeah. So on Santee, there is no shortage of great looking bass fishing stuff. We got cypress trees, peanut grass, there's some bank grass, you got hay grass, everything you could want. And then under the water, you got coontail, hydrilla, eelgrass. I mean, literally everything that, that you could want as a bass. Um, and right now we're just trying to see, you know, how many are left up spawning. Um, if we're gonna be able to do that, or we're gonna have to, to go fish trees and, and stuff like that. I haven't seen a brim bed yet, which is pretty surprising. Uh, I kind of thought that would, would probably be a deal, um, especially here, uh, but hadn't found one yet. So we're just looking, see how many fish are on bed still. How many females are up? Uh, I've only seen two females so far today. Hasn't been the best conditions for looking, um, but you know, that's where I feel most comfortable. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to find probably a shad spawn or something um, this week. I feel like that's gonna be a really big thing. Uh, you know, starting your morning off with a limit and you, here you could catch 30 pounds on a shad spawn the first 10 minutes and uh, this place has got a bunch of big ones and it's going to take a bunch of weight we just got to be one of those guys if bass had to buy real estate that'd be a million dollar house right there and it's vacant Yeah. Couldn't tell exactly what he was chasing. It almost looked like a shiner. Or a brim or something. It didn't look like a shad. I have found some big ones. Yes. Like, very big ones. It's like every, every bed you come to that has a fish on it has a eight pounder but I mean there's not a whole lot of them but every one of them's got a big one on it and I just talked to a local I was going behind the local and found a six or seven pounder and uh, then I went around the local and he said um, that he uh, but one on bed and he literally just drove over two of them yeah. all right well we have trolled around all over the place and found a few fish on the bed and then came into this one pocket and it is absolutely loaded um, there's six to eight pounders laying everywhere literally everywhere um, it is monday that is one bad thing, this is what you want to find on like Wednesday. But I mean, some of them are still going to be here for sure. Um, but the, the, you know, the weather forecast is not, not looking good for sight fishing um, Thursday and Friday. But if that's going to be true on Wednesday, we'll come in here and I'll get lineups on, on a lot of these females and, and uh, just blind fish for them if they're still in here. There's gonna be some still in here, but uh, I mean, every male that's in here has a female with it. It is unbelievable. So uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It was it was kind of gloomy, but uh, we'll see. I know one person, one other person found him because uh, I talked to him in here, but he's not really one I have to worry about sight fishing. So I'm glad.
Hey, no problem. <laughs> Alright, here we are, uh, day two of practice. It's hard to believe we just won two days ago. We're already back on the grind. Uh, looking for a shad spawn this morning. We're going to run some of these banks that are going to be uh, shaded from the because we're going to blast off five minutes from now and uh, you got to have you know a little bit of shade for this these shad to still be spawning in the morning so we're going to run down this bank a little ways look for uh, birds look for herring and uh, not herring the fish herring the bird and uh, they'll tell us if there's any shad spawning and then we'll go um, fish shallow fish cypress trees and uh, look for spawners the rest of the day. Let's see him flicking in the tank. Yep. Yeah. So, ran a bunch of backwater this morning looking for a shad spawn and saw a little bit of it. But, you know, as you can see, we're kind of bundled up. But we've had some, you know, high 40s, low 50 degree nights. And it hadn't really affected the water temperature that much, but I think it affects the way those shad get up there and do their thing and flicker around. We, uh, we saw, I was gonna bite. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did take um, the. Uh, <laughs> I forgot where I was at. But anyway, uh, we saw you know the birds waiting on the shad, and we saw just you know a few flickering around in the little pads, and kind of wanting to do it a little bit, but they just they weren't doing it. We didn't really see much bass activity blowing up on them. So we're gonna go back on the the bass spawning deal and. Uh, run some pockets it's still early can't really see very good the sun ain't up but we're gonna throw a top order around we just had a bite right there i told myself if i can just get some bites in some areas that'll tell me that they're in there and then you can come back in a tournament and actually look and find them so it's a big lake a lot of nooks and crannies to look in we're gonna try looking as many of them as we can I mean, it's pretty clear. I don't know if it's really clear. Hmm. You think so? No, I haven't seen any yet. I've had a couple bites on popping tails. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, there was a few shad flickering some pads around some birds and stuff, but they weren't 
I just got done saying that this is probably the only place any of these fish right here on this area of the lake have to farm because there's no cover out there on the outside. We got in here the first stretch, kind of big. So we find some more. There's got to be some more. Than Wasn't no shaking that one off. <laughs> Santee Cooper special. Look at that thing. Man, it's a pretty fish. I mean, he crushed it too. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, yeah. Six and a half. spawning like on that tree and, and out here where I can't see right now. So I kind of feel like there's some more in here that I'm just going over and I can't see. The reason why I said I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and I'll, I'll come back and check that big one and then look over some of this again. I won't run up here and start on it if it's just one, but I'll probably start right there where in that pocket would cook if there's that many of them in there. Not up here. Uh, it's, it's not real clear in any of these. And two, you know, it's it's just 10 o'clock. So it's it's kind of been, I feel like I, there was more where I was looking. I just couldn't see them. I mean, if it was, no, 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 not, I'm just saying there, there might be one or two more that I didn't see. No, it's just a deal where like you might go up there and catch one. <laughs>
No. Oh, it's got three. <laughs> there was three fish on that bed right there. Two females weren't that big though. I'm gonna turn back around. All right, it's uh, three o'clock and we're in 100% hunt mode. <laughs> we're looking for him on bed. Uh, talked to Cook, he's been seeing some. Um, we've marked, you know, 15 or 20 today. So we're just trying to uh, eliminate areas, figure out what areas they're really in. And uh, it'll make tomorrow a lot a lot more refined. We can just kind of go around our, our best stuff and and uh, and really see what we have. In a sight fishing tournament, you have to cover the whole lake and see, you know, because one area might be hot. You know, last year, this area right here that I'm in now, I caught a lot of my weight in. Um, and this year, the water's a lot higher. It's covered up with a lot more lily pads and it's harder to see in here. Um, I have seen a couple, but this area of the lake is not firing like the one he's in right now. So it's part of the process, just trying to eliminate and figure out, you know, what part is, uh, is really moved up for, for this kind of deal. Big male, and then there's like a four pound female there, too. Uh, that was another like four pound female with four and a half pound female with a little wiener beater. This was another female that looked like four and three quarter, five pounds. This is what I was talking about out there in that middle. Mm -hmm. Like, I just made one little squiggly through here and saw those. Mm -hmm. um, those are just males. That was a female that was there the other day. She's still there. She's like a seven pounder. And this was a new one today that was like a six pounder. Mm. So mine is to, I'm gonna start there and then go right here and throw it that one and throw it down.
Okay. Day one, Santee Cooper, we got a lot of fog rolling in. I hope that they let us go on time, but it's not looking great. Um, if this wind will blow a little bit and get it out of here, we might get to go on time. We'll see. Not a big turnaround uh, or a, you know much downtime between the last one and this one. Um, excited to go fishing. Really looking forward to this one. There's, there's a few still left up there shallow um, that we can look at, and uh, hopefully we can catch five of the biggest ones to swim in here because it's going to take it. We're going to need somewhere in that upper to mid 20s to close to 30 pounds to be in contention after day one. And uh, we'll just see where the chips fall after that. All right. All right, guys, day number one here at Santee Cooper. Um, you know, the last time we were sitting right here, uh, you know, we, we won our first blue trophy. So, I mean, this leg's obviously, you know, special uh, to me and always will be. But, um, you know, it's a little bit different this year. We're over a month later. Uh, the fishing's completely different. There's still some fish on the bed. So uh, hopefully we can pick up right where we left off last year and catch us a big bag and, uh, and get the ball rolling today. If we can, if we can start on the one we want to and catch her, it's gonna be a great big one. We can get the day started and just go from there. That's the thing. Definitely not the one I saw the first time. Number 1.2. Number one again. How about that? That one's for, for my dad, right there. That one's for you, Pops. I hope you're feeling better today. I mean, a, a fine Santee Cooper specimen. Boy, I laid the wood to her that time. <laughs> you I'd have bet money you hurt your back again, Andrew. <laughs> there was some weight on the other end of it. Yeah. Nice. Solid, brother, solid. Nice. One more time. Oh, I love Santee Cooper. I love South Carolina, period. God almighty, I can't believe that thing was that big. He looked like a peanut down there. 
Yes, we will take that one. That's why it's so hard to see. Like that was the only thing you could see right there. That's a neat looking fish, isn't it? Oh man! So you can't even see that male up there because. We'll put him in the box this time for a little bit. Thank you. Yes. I told you, just do it. Like Nike. What's your small one, Wes? There's one right here in front of me on bed. I'll leave it for you. How big is it? Bigger than 180, I think. You don't need it? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Got a limit. Now we gotta get rid of that two something. Get rid of that 12 incher. Yes. This is a male. Maybe she'll get up there now he's out of the way. I ain't throwing him back. <laughs> There's a third one in there to be honest with you. Unless, unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. That's a little one. I didn't know which one had it. She was swimming off. I might put him back if she doesn't get back up there. I think she might. Florida, Drew Bentley. 
fit for Drew Benton. Last time he stood on this stage, he had his shiny blue trophy in his hand. And they checked for $100,000. His second Elite Series title, five fish today, 16-3. So takes that momentum into a good day one. Puts him in 14th place with 16 pounds and three ounces. Sixteen three, and the power pole pro moves into fourteenth place currently, and uh, keeps that momentum going. So you're gonna be happy with day one. Yeah, it was a really really tough grind out there today. I actually weighed a lot more than I thought they did. I thought I had about fourteen pounds, and I'd have a lot more work cut out tomorrow. But uh, it was just weird. I don't know what happened. Is you know I love to sight fish, and I had a bunch found to start on, and for whatever reason, I don't know if the weather made them leave or if the water dropped a little bit. I don't know what the case is, but. I just couldn't get anything going and I just struggled around all day and uh, was fortunate enough to find that one big one. Hopefully we can find five of those tomorrow. I figured it out. He is your defending champion from Georgia, Elite Series champion, Drew Cook. That's five fish here today. Took a win here last year. Former Elite Series looking here. He's got five fish here today. 21 pounds, 13 ounces. And Drew Cook once again in contention here on Santee Cooper Lake. Moves into fifth place currently with 21 pounds, 13 ounces. Get loud for Drew Cook. 21-13. Eight pounds, five ounces leading Phoenix Bulls Big Bass. And uh, not going to weigh that one, but uh, man... Great day here today, but it just doesn't seem as easy as uh, as many would have thought before pre-fish. Oh, it, it is super tough. Um, I don't know how to get a bite, and uh, the only way I know how to catch one is if I'm bed fishing. And I don't have very many of them left. There was a lot of uh, a lot of people doing it, and a lot of people doing it in the area that I was doing it. Um, but you know, I got a couple left, so hopefully we can find some new ones. Um, and just, we need to get one big female a day. Uh, I think we'll be able to, to do it again, but I don't expect any new ones to come up. I'm crossing my fingers and my legs and my toes that maybe some will, but I don't I don't think they will. But uh, either way, we're having fun. I had a blast today, and uh, hopefully I get to have a blast again tomorrow. We'll find out. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. A five-time Elite Series bridesmaid, four-time classic qualifier. You're welcome, buddy. I actually had more bikes today than I had. The get better? Absolutely, all you had to do was leave. <laughs> Absolutely. I was literally about to tell him I got these guys and you guys got up and left. I was like, I told them. 
good luck to me this season. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hell, they both swim off the same time, and I, I didn't even see the male at the time. And I set the hook, and it was the male. I put him back, and she was so stupid that the male never really went back up there, and she stayed on the bed and let the brim eat the bed. So I knew I had no chance to catch her if she wasn't getting mad with the brim. <laughs> and, uh, and that one no, I, I run up there. Um, I come up here with three, and uh, it, the one down from there. Um, I went in there to, remember I said I saw one decent female in there? Mm -hmm. The one down. Um, I went in there, of course it was gone, so I said, I'm gonna go over here and catch this two pounder off this tree. And I go up there and there's three fish on the bed. Really? Yeah. Caught all three of them. <laughs> Huh. Out over there. I went to one um, after I left from over where we started. And uh, I went to the one where I saw that big fat one close to it, but it was just, a, and it, it wasn't there, so I caught the male. That was my second fish. And then I went to another male on a big bright bed, and I'm like, this is going to bite first flip. Throw it up there, shaking it. Nothing. I'm like, something's wrong. Go up there, it ain't there. Go to the ne next one that's on the tree, it ain't there. Gleason caught both of them before I got in there. But they, were, they weren't they were big. Yeah. Just wrapped up day number one. We had 21, 13, almost 22 pounds. And it was a grind. Uh, a lot of the fish left. A lot of the fish were super weird. Um, but we're in seventh place, so... Could be worse. Um, just check the weather for tomorrow. It looks like the weather's gonna be worse. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, but hopefully we can run across, you know, just a few more, um, one female and, you know, catch a couple good males and, you know, just make it to, to Saturday whenever that sun's gonna shine. Um, that was the problem today, you know, until about Really about 11 o'clock, the sun didn't come out. It was still like foggy and overcast, couldn't see. But hopefully we'll be able to see tomorrow, or hopefully we'll find enough tomorrow where we'll be able to see Saturday. But we'll see. We'll see. What? See. We'll see. See. We'll see. Yes, we will. Patty said what? Maybe some fish and bite. Oh, maybe some fish and bite. Hope so. You want to do that for? I mean, 30 pounds is... Would be pretty cool. Oh, gosh. Bill. All right, day number two here at CNT. Uh, yesterday we had 21, 13, sitting in seventh place. Ain't got much of nothing to go to. So we're gonna have to find some new ones today or figure out how to get a bite of fish in or something uh, to be able to make it into the cut. Uh, looks like we're probably only gonna need maybe like 10 pounds or so to make the cut. So that's goal number one, make 10 grand. Goal number two is to, to maybe climb up um, hopefully there's a couple left that we can pluck off the nest. Hopefully the weather, you know, gets a little lighter where we can see. If we can see, I think we'll be be fine. We'll be able to find some. Um, but if not, being able to see, I don't know how many people are going to be left in that area that didn't catch them yesterday that were in there because there was a pile of people in there. But uh, we're going to get after it and see what we can do. We got Rush with us today, so we'll we'll have fun at least. All right, day two. Here at Santee, um, didn't really catch them as good as I thought we would yesterday. Went to a lot of 
big ones that were gone, um, a lot of little ones that were gone, as a matter of fact. It just, uh, I really couldn't put my finger on what was going on yesterday. Um, I don't know if it was the weather that did something to them or the water level or whatever the case was, but they just kind of did me dirty yesterday in a way. So uh, we're going to keep them honest today, see if we can run into uh, five good ones on the bed again. Um, probably throw a lot more moving baits. We got, you know, cloudy, rainy conditions. Probably keep that buzz bait or some kind of top order in my hand. And uh, while we look and see if we can get a bonus bite or two. Fishing's been tough. If I'm not looking at them or throwing the one on bed, it's been hard for me to get a bite. So I've got to roll with that game plan today. Baby, autograph on the way back. Absolutely. Yes, sir, bro. Thank you, my man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Place, and really, not, not, not. Safe travels to see the next Ito. Ladies and gentlemen, your defending champion at this very event from Georgia, elite series champion, Drew Cook. 21-13 yesterday. Let's get him inside to cut five fish here today as he continues to try and defend his title here on beautiful Santee Cooper Lakes. 17 pounds, 12 ounces, all the way into second place with 39 pounds and 9 ounces. 
39.9, and Drew Cook is sitting in second place currently. Let's hear it for Avco Pro, Drew Cook. The Avco, a Bassmaster Elite on Santee Cooper Lake. 39.9 is sitting in second place, and a little different tournament than last year, but uh, you're going to get a chance going into the weekend. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot different. Um, you know, today I fished for one for over two and a half hours that was about that long and looked like a propane tank. Literally, I mean, a giant. And uh, she just wouldn't act right, but um, she was there whenever I left. So hopefully we got one to start on tomorrow. Um, doing what I love and doing it where, where I love. I love this place. Clarendon County and Santee Cooper Lakes are, are one of my favorite places ever. I'll never forget this parking lot, this place, that boat ramp, that dock, all that. It's always going to be uh, special to me. But there's some, some people behind me that are catching them really good. Uh, like I said, you're seeing a different Santee Cooper than just me shaking a rod, standing on my trolling motor. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. Hopefully we can find, you know, just a few more and just make it Sunday. Love to see it. Go get rigged and get ready. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Finished fourth place here last year. He's a four-time <laughs> Let's bring a last week's champion, a two-time Elite Series champion from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. 16 pounds, 3 ounces yesterday, a better day today. Look out. 16-3 yesterday, five fish here today. 23 pounds and 5 ounces, and Drew Benton rockets into the top 10 in sixth place with 39 pounds and eight ounces. Drew Benton looking to make back-to-back -back 10 cuts and follow up that victory last week. Skies in Carolina, Florida, Tennessee. 39 pounds and eight ounces. Gonna weigh that one for Phoenix Most Big Bass. He's gonna be in 7 11, 8 5 for the tournament, 7 11 for the day, 7 pounds, 8 ounces. Not gonna take that over, but man, uh, you gotta be happy with the way today went. And uh, this South Carolina swing working out pretty good for you. It really is. You know, I love Santee Cooper Lakes. It's a, it's an awesome fishery. I, anytime we get to come here, it's a treat. It doesn't matter if it's in the fall or the spring, it's places. It's just got big ones, and it's fun to fish for them. Uh, you know, the sun came out today. We didn't have that yesterday, so I got to peep around a little bit, and I got to find me a few. It actually could have been a really good day. I had one great big one get off, and uh, hopefully she's still there tomorrow and we get to, to cast at her. But uh, I'll just hunt them down tomorrow and uh, see what we can come up with. Look forward to watching it, hopefully on Bassmaster Live. He's a Bassmaster Classic champion. He called me goes you got any more I'm like no I didn't have any more this morning <laughs> <Neither>. <laughs> go and look right here and spin around well then I saw that big one 
So I'm pretty much where I could power pole down in between them, mm -hmm. so nobody could come and catch that one. And uh, I'm fishing for it, and that was a time of day that was cloudy and wind. You know, it was windy all day, but it was cloudy too. Yeah. So I couldn't, I couldn't get close enough. They were in open water. I couldn't get close enough to see anything. So I'm just blind fishing. I'm shaking. One goes, boom, it's three pounder, three something. Well, it's not a three something, it's three pounder. And at the time I had like 13 pounds. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to keep that and make sure I get 10 grand. Yeah. So I put it in the box and I'm like, I probably screwed that big one up. And I'm pitching in there, pitching in there, nothing. So I'm like, Sun comes out, I ease up there, and she swims off, but she's sitting somewhere else, like a little bit off of where I thought the bed was, so I thought, she's jacked up, you know. Well, I made me a loop, go out there, look for that real giant one, come back. When I come back, she's sitting in that same spot again. So I go power pole down between the, the five pounder and her again. I'm fishing for, fishing for, fishing for, nothing. I'm like, what the heck, man? I ease up the poles again. She's sitting dead nuts there, so I back up again. I'm pitching, 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 nothing. And I'm like, maybe she'll bite this big fighting frog straight break. <laughs> and I didn't think she'd bite it. I said, maybe I can get her pissed off. Yeah. I pitched it in there, and it goes, dong. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it didn't even move. And I'm talking, that thing's this long. Like, I thought it was an eight or nine pounder. Yeah. And it was just so skinny. Made in the top water in the ingrid. Yeah, it's spooking this one day. What did I just have? 80 pounds. Well, and I'm like, I'm just going to see if I can see where you're going to throw it up there. Like, it up and like, yeah, I swear to God. Well, you let you cut it. Oh, yeah. That's so okay. Right. <laughs> With a one ounce weight. Do you, guys, like <laughs> you think he was the rope runner? They're not the like, like, where's she from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to find out. How do you hook you going to walk around? It's got to be a problem. Uh, it's got to be a problem. Ben, you want to say no fighting frogs? Go ahead, buddy. Clean up that track. You're doing a good job. No fighting frogs. That's a problem. You ain't going to say that. Yeah, I found a couple. I don't know what the hell it is. like. Buddy, when you grow up, don't be a sight fisherman. Please! Slid on up here to 7th. Um, don't really know what to expect today. Didn't really know what to expect yesterday. We just got to hunt five big ones down. We're going to keep this trolling motor on 100 and see if we can burn these battle-worn batteries down by the end of the day, which is going to be impossible, but we're going to try. Um, again, all we got to do is find five of the right ones, so we're not going to stop on them unless they're the right ones and uh, see if we can fish our second championship Sunday in two weeks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Day number three here uh, at Santee Cooper. We uh, are in sixth place, seventh, something like that. Um, we got to find five of them today. They're, they're leaving us really quick, but hopefully there's still five out there. We left one great big one out there yesterday. So hopefully we can get it and find us four more and slide into there into that top ten and, and make that championship uh, Sunday and. 
you know, just keep the ball rolling. You know, we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants after day one, just looking for what we can and catching what we see. And that's the plan today. We'll put the trolling motor on 100 and see what we can find. He's 14 inches. I'm putting him in the box. I'm going to see what she does. I don't think he's 14 inches. Maybe. A three something and a two something. How about that? I mean, dude, choked a popping frog. Spro popping frog. Yeah. One more. Three, two. Let's go. Let's go. That is not the fish that just blew up. Better check. We can, hey, we can always get rid of them, but we can't never get them back. Ooh. I'd say you there, Wes. I believe there's a little white spot missing right there. Okay. You can ride for a little while. It ain't small. Come here. Come here. Just get in here. I dang another one. Another nice one. Gosh almighty. Let's go. 
That one's gonna do some culling. I know that's 22 pound Sunline shooter, but we're fixing to retie it just in case we run across another great big one. Number three. Got her. Dude, I mean a daggum stud, son. Yes! Give me some, oh gosh almighty. Oh man, look how long that thing is. Dude, I had no idea that's how big that other one was. Holy cow. Oh man. Oh man. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh man, look at that thing, dude. God almighty. I mean, I'm over here fishing for a fry garter and just happened to glance over. Would you look at that? Oh. That just so, you remember what I was telling you earlier about the, the bigger fighting frog? That was exactly, so the little fighting frog, the four inch, they wouldn't, wouldn't really uh, um, commit to. Really didn't want anything to do with it. I put that big one in there and things change. That's that's a freaking 612. Number two. Holy cow. Dude, I hope that other one's the same size. I doubt it, but holy cow. I mean. female went that I saw but I ain't passing up that one nice nice yeah it was definitely a female on that bed yesterday whenever I marked it but we will take him There it is, Clarity County, Santee Cooper Lakes. I love this place, I love these fish. They're so fun. Wish we'd come here every year. Oh. Last year, and guess what? According to Bass Track, he is in the mix here again this week and may just go back to back. A very rare thing on the Bassmaster Elite Series. A two time Elite Series champion from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. I was excited to see you out here. 39 pounds and 8 ounces start today. Two fish here today. Tougher day today. 5 pounds, 8 ounces inside the cut for now in 10th place. But, uh, you know, it, not going to work out at the end of it. But, man, what a run you've had here in South Carolina. And probably, I mean, you always want to win every tournament, but probably not that upset that you finally get a day off. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, to be honest with you, but I would love nothing more than to go tomorrow. 
Um, you know, I just run out of fish, I feel like. I, you know, I burned up the bank looking for them today, and I actually found enough to have a, a good day today. I just couldn't catch a break. I guess I caught them all last week. You know, when you have a week like that and everything's going your way, uh, you, you don't know what, what to think. And then this week, when it got back to normal, I, I knew what to think. Fishing's fishing, and it was just a tough tough day on me today. So, uh, but to get that win last week meant a lot in South Carolina. I love to come here. I love to fish here. I love Santee Cooper Lakes. I hope we get to come back soon. Well, before you leave, we're going to give you some parting gifts. You had our VMC Monster Bag of the Tournament last week. 26 pounds, 7 ounces, a $2,000 bonus there. And a big happy Gilmore check to put in the back of the Pinto. Our next angler is the defending champion in this very event, Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. He cooked the competition here last year. Started the day with 39 pounds and 9 ounces. Five fish here today. Needs 11.8 to get inside the cut. 19.10 to take the lead. 23 pounds, 4 ounces. 23.4. And once again, he cooks the competition. Drew Cook is your tournament leader at the AVCO Bassmaster Elite at Santee Cooper Lakes. Boom shakalaka. J -j 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 Giant bass. Needs to be better than 710 to take over Phoenix Boat's big bass of the day. Seven pounds, two ounces, not going to do that. But man, you rallied at the exact right time and you are going to put yourself in a unique position. It is so rare to see an angler defend their title on the very body of water and not just defend it, but a whole month later than what you did it last time. So for two weeks, we have heard that the sight fight is over that the Drews are going to run out of fish. You're five fish away from another Elite Series title, and uh, at this point, anything can happen. It ain't over until I say it's over. There's five left out there, I know. But they're, they're I mean, they're few and far between. I did a whole lot of trolling today, and, uh, you know, don't really have a whole lot to go to tomorrow. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find a, a five and a seven uh, today, but, I mean... I love this place. If I was to win again, I think we'd have to move here, honestly. But uh, my, my wife and little boy are here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm probably going to have to change it up if we go tomorrow. The, you know, the weather, uh, obviously not going to be able to sight fish. But, you know, this week I've been pretty much in the same area. I've pretty much had the exact same rods, the exact same baits, uh, plus a quarantine crawl, big bite. But the quarantine crawl and the fighting frog, that's been my... By uh, my two go-getters this week and last week, and I was hoping we were going to get to do it at Lay too, but I don't think we're. I think it's rained a little too much for that. But oh well, we're going to have a shot to win again on the final day, and that's all I can ask for. Love to see it happen for you. Congrats on a great week. Bring him out in just a few minutes with our top ten. This is his third top ten this year. You guys know him, you love him. He cooked the competition here last year, making him an Elite Series champion. He is also a member of the Bassmaster Century Club. Also a former Dakota Olympian, Rookie of the Year, trying to do something so rare and go back to back on the very same body of water. Get loud for Drew Cook. You may never use it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so now ten of us are in this friggin' yeah, but, so but the tournament happens. So there's no more. 
Oh, dude, this is it. Right here, let me find my focus. Let me get out of the open. First bait is the same as last week. Uh, quarantine crawl. Schedule will take off time. Seven. These are the exact conditions. This is back-to-back -back -back back -to -back cuts here on a back-to-back -back event. It'll be getting pretty tight. It's the fourth championship Sunday of 2023. We started with 104. 50 went out yesterday. 10 remain. And Luke Palmer is five fish away from a lifelong dream and becoming a Bassmaster Elite Series champion. And only nine problems stand in his way. From Greenwood, South Carolina, the COW Brandon Cobb. Trying to defend his Elite Series title here today. A tree pounder. Hey, just, just, just slow and steady. Just peck away. Just keep on pecking. I haven't retired this thing all week, so I'm probably gonna retire it. Even though I know it's good. I'm gonna stop to a moment. He's no giant by any means, but today, son. I can't see you. Come here, buddy. We strike again. Only a wacky snack. I'm pretty sure there's another one up there, too. I don't think this was the same one that we saw wake off. Just keep on packing. Ah! Oh my God, we got a bite. Holy cow. I don't know how it didn't come off. Dude, that's right where that one this morning pushed my swim jig. It's only been since nine o'clock since I've had a bite. Hot dang! <laughs> One more! <laughs> yes! Dude, I hope you could see that. Whenever I was working it by that one piece of grass right there, like the grass shook and I was, I even tilted my head. I was like, dang, that kind of felt, you know, like maybe a fish was coming after it. And he followed it for so long. He couldn't see out of that eye, Jack. Mm. That's pretty big right there, bud. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like just for he's trying to do something so so rare and that is defend his title that he won here just last year he is a former dakota lithium rookie of the year he is a four-time bassmaster classic qualifier he is a member of the bassmaster century club he is an elite series champion from georgia drew cook
62 pounds and 13 ounces, joined the Bassmaster Century Club last year while winning right here. We had two Century Belts awarded last year. Had 62 pounds, 13 ounces as of this morning. Needs 19.15 to take the lead. Four fish here on Championship Sunday. 11 pounds, 12 ounces. Moves into second place with 74 pounds and 9 ounces. And uh, Drew Cook has had an incredible season. This is third top 10 of 2023. And he is in the mix in a big way in our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. 74 pounds, 9 ounces, and uh, unfortunately not going to defend your title. But, man, to be here on Championship Sunday, to have a shot to do that, to make back-to-back -back 12 cuts here in South Carolina, uh, or 10 cuts here in South Carolina, unbelievable. Yeah, you know, I'm, I can't complain at all. I've, I've done exactly what I've wanted to do the past uh, two events. And today, you know, with it, the weather like it was, I knew it was going to hurt me. Uh, so I just made the decision that I was going to stay here uh, in this creek all day long. And um, I had seven bites today and caught four. And the two that I didn't catch were, you know, obviously great big ones. You know, they always are. But uh, it should have had 20 pounds by 9 o'clock this morning. And whatever happened at 9.05, they did not bite from 9.05, and then I finally caught another one at 2.30 right there. Um, so whenever Mark says he had 10 minutes to kill and caught one in this creek somewhere, I feel pretty pretty mad I left one because I started that way, fished all the way down, and then came over and started fishing all the way back up this way. But, uh, yeah, you know, the last two weeks have uh, been a big bite quarantine crawl and a fighting frog. Um, that's, you know, sight fishing, obviously, Louisville glasses, uh, battle-borne batteries, especially this week. This week, there really wasn't that many fish up, so I had to cover a lot of ground. Um, and so I was trolling on 100 for a long time, hours, uh, without, you know, stopping. And the key for me was to look where nobody else was looking. If everybody was going through the pads, looking up towards the bank, I would either go through the pads and look out towards the the open water or you know get in seven foot of water and just start looking towards the bank whenever you saw one you know it was an unmolested fish and it was a lot easier to catch and a lot bigger ones but um i hope and pray that we come back here every year this is my favorite place in the world and what y'all have with this grass out here is going to make this the most phenomenal bass fishery that there is that grass if, if they will not kill it this place will be the best bass fishing lake in the country in the next five years, no doubt. You said that to me before the tournament even started, and, and I can't under overestimate just how many pros are excited ab about this. Like, the, the, this fishery is incredible as it is, but to think it could get better is scary. Oh, it absolutely is. I mean, it's a phenomenal fishery to begin with, but... What's, what this grass is going to do to it is going to completely change everything. The, the spawn that you've had this year, next year, those, your, your survival rate will increase 60% than what it normally is. So in five years from now, there will be 60% more three-and-a-half pounders than there is right now. The three-and-a-half pounders that are in here now, they're all going to be seven or eight pounders. and like It's just going to be an amazing place. And we're going to have to get a cell tower somewhere close here because Verizon, you can't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know my my wife and my little boy came up um this week and i always love having them but uh my dad he's still in lexington so i think we're fixing to go see him and then uh hopefully he's going home on tuesday thoughts and prayers are with him for a speedy recovery a great south care all right santee cooper uh finished up third place um you know another good event at santee and uh, caught them all on a five or four inch fighting frog uh, in tilapia magic. I caught them on the quarantine crawl in tilapia, and I also used the five inch fighting frog in tilapia magic. You can find all of these at baitworks.com.